Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to buy crypto on BitGet. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to access BitGet. In this case, open up your mobile device, go to BitGet, and from here, log in. Now, once you've logged in into your account, the first thing that you'll see here is going to be your homepage. Now, for us to actually to buy crypto, we need to go to the trade page. Now, at the very bottom center of the screen, go ahead and click on trade. And from here, you should be able to see the current screen for trading. Now, there's going to be different ways of trading here. Like, for example, copy trading, spot trading, margin, convert, and bots. But in this case, we'll, we'll only be utilizing the spot trading here. Now, if you want to learn more about copy, margin, convert, bots, you can actually access the website and learn more about it. Now, we recommend you to do your research first before accessing the other features that BitGet actually offers. But in this case, we'll be using spot. So in this case, how do we buy here? So first things first, make sure that you've chosen your cryptocurrency. As you can see, by default, I have ETH stash USDT. So in this case, go ahead and choose a cryptocurrency that you want to use. So there's going to be a lot here. Now you can utilize the search functionality here to search for the crypto that you want to trade. But for example, we'll be using ETH itself. Now in this case, what we need to do next is make sure that we are or we've set this into buy. Now we also need to set this to limit order because we want to actually uh, buy on a specific limit or any specific price since we want to actually manage what we want to buy. In this case, you could choose other options here like advanced limit, market trigger, OCO, TPSL, and trailing stop. Now, again, it is recommended that you do your own research first before accessing the other options here. But for now, we'll be using limit order, which in this case allows us to actually buy on that specific price. Now, what we need to do next here is we want to indicate how much we want to buy. In this case, you can indicate the ETH or the USDT. Like for example, I wanted to buy around 100 USDT here. As you can see, the quantity of ETH will be indicated here, like for example, 0.0332. Now, it's also going to buy on a specific type or in a specific uh, section or in a specific price of uh, ETH. So currently, we have the price here in USDT, which is around 3,000, uh, uh, 3,009 to 10 and 11. Now, as you can see, the uh, price right now is 3,008 that is set on our buy order. In this case, if you want to change that, you could just basically update it into the updated price here. Like for example, setting this to 3,010, just an example. Now from here, once you've done that, you could go ahead and basically click on the buy ETH here and you should be able to actually buy it. Now you might be wondering, uh, why do we need to click on the buy ETH here? Well, in this case, we'll actually be uh, placing an order here, meaning we'll be placing an order from the name itself because we all know that a cryptocurrency is highly volatile and placing an order is actually necessary for you to buy a cryptocurrency. But in this case, that's about it. So that would actually uh, fulfill itself once it actually reaches on that specific price and you'll be able to receive your ETH in your wallet. So if you want to view it, you can just go to your assets here and just scroll down and basically go to spot, spot wallet here and scroll down and you should be able to see the cryptocurrency in your wallet. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.